Stefan, start again. Yeah. I'm Rabbi Yechiel Greniman from Rabbis for Human Rights. Uh, we've been ar around this organization 25 years. We've been working with the Jalin Bedouin the last 20 or so. When there was an expulsion of uh, Bedouin from the area, they built Male Adumim on. Uh, directly opposite is, is another settlement. Male Adumim is one of the biggest ones. This is a small settlement called Kedah. And there's also, of course, displacement of Bedouin. Uh, usually the settlements are put somewhere where there is some kind of spring water source. So when they take over the water source, they impoverish, the already impoverished Bedouin even more. Right. And we do what we can to help with our limited resources. And the other settlement over here, that's the one that we passed through on yeah. the first day, right? That's one of the neighborhoods of Male Adumim. It's about 40,000 people. Male Adumim. It's really a, a dormitory suburb of Jerusalem. Right. And a fast ro road going out to it. Right. And so where does the water source come for, the, for that settlement? There are, not, well, they don't, there are a couple of springs there which were enough to, um, uh, for the better one for herds, but no, they have piped in water. That, wa that spring water is not enough. Okay. They've piped in water. And so where does the, se where does the water come from for the, the other settlement right here? I think the same kind of story. There was one spring around there. That's why Bedouin settled there. Um, uh, or, uh, you know, watered the herds there. And right. They also have piped in water, water from the uh, Mekorot, from the Israeli water company. Right. And so then the water is diverted from, from this Bedouin community that we're standing in right now. This Bedouin community we're standing in right now is one of the few Bedouin communities in this area which have actually been given building permits after some political pressure from various groups including ours. Right. And they do have, they are linked up to the water system of East Jerusalem. They have a pipe going from Azaria, which we're near, into this area. Right. So they're better off than the desert Bedouin below us. Right. Um, and uh, the older people here miss the desert life, but the younger people, they grew up here. They just, they, they live, right. it's, it's basically a slum of East Jerusalem. Right. Honestly. And so beyond you is this beautiful mosque here. Yeah. And so who has funded that mosque? Uh, I think it's the uh, Islamic Brotherhood. Islamic Brotherhood. Uh, the money came from outside here. It's not from the local people. It's not from the Palestinian Authority either. Uh -huh. uh, it's from outside. Uh, and it's only been around a, a few years. So they funded a mosque, a pretty fancy mosque, but, but no not money for the kindergarten. But no money from the kindergarten, which we are funding through yeah. Rabbis for Human yes. Rights. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sort of that says a lot. yes, that illustrates the complexities here. Yeah. Right. And okay, box, and here's uh, the this, UN truck here. Yeah, the UN helps. So, and these are people who are officially still refugees, a long right. time after the uh, uh, 1948 war. And right next to us is a, uh, you see a tin box. It's a, this was a caravan or a mobile home. Home. Uh, it was the first educational center up here 20 years ago. Right. And on the other side of us is the school, which is a set of uh, concrete uh, structures. And yeah. they've been temporary for a long time. Yeah. Okay, and beyond that is the Palestinian flag. So, yeah. There's some well, the pride Palestinian there. The authority supplies the teachers here. Oh, they do? Yeah. And they pay them? Yeah, not well, but they pay them. <laughs> Not well. Okay, thanks, Yahya. The Yahil. Palestinian teachers were on strike uh, uh, towards the end of the school year a few months ago. Uh -huh. A couple of months ago because of being underpaid. Or not receiving salary. I think it was one month they didn't receive salaries. Right. Was that during the time that um, that the Israeli state was keeping the tax money? Yeah, I think that it was during connected. that time. Yeah. So it, it was. It's a bit a bit of a mismatch, a mishmash there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot, Yehiel. Yeah.